Hey guys, uh, what's up? So, uh, not exams. Midterms are next week. So, like, midterms are next week. We are in our third week of classes at University of Waterloo. I started September 13th. Um, I just ate food, that's why. My mouth is funny. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, I have uh, CRT ships, campus response team ships, um, and they got a lot of questions from first year students. Um, they were asking if we had a whole week off for midterms, and no, unless you're in engineering, we at the University of Waterloo don't get a week off for like midterms or whatever. Um, engineers do because, well, they need to because their classes are ridiculously hard. Don't hate on the engineers for getting a week off because trust me, they need it and most of them use it beneficially. Um, so for midterms, some tips, definitely like, I know some of my friends have like three, and one of my friends has five midterms next week. So I mean, chances are you will definitely have two midterms in a day. So some tips for studying, make sure you don't put all your effort into your first midterm and then screw yourself over for the second midterm. Um, yeah. If you're struggling in a class, put more effort into that exam possibly, but make sure you're balancing it out and you're not completely ignoring a whole other class. Don't cheat on midterms, that's just stupid, you're asking for trouble, don't do that, it's just stupid. <clears throat> Three, um, study ahead of time and don't get behind on all your other subjects because you're studying for one thing. Honestly, the best thing I found from first year was setting out like a study schedule. Study schedule. So study for this amount of time and then do something. Maybe go for a walk, have a snack, make dinner, anything. Just get your mind off of what you were doing and just let it soak in kind of. Um, and then go back to it because you're going to feel a lot less frustrated because if you were stuck on something, maybe it sunk in. You just make sure you bring your walk card to your exams or midterms because if you don't, no one's going to believe you that you're you and you're going to have to run home, go get your walk card and bring it back to the doctor after the exam is done. But seriously, people are just dumb. Like, how do you forget that? Put it on your keys. I have a lanyard. Let me show you one of these things. I don't want to show my whole name on it, so yeah. I'm going to show you the back of it. Um, but this is amazing. You will never forget your walk card unless you're locking yourself at your house. Because you don't have your keys. Usually I don't try to work out because when I work out I'm like all pumped and stuff. And then I'll crash like right after. Don't feed yourself 5,000 energy drinks. It's not going to help you. You're going to sit there like, nah, nah. No! Like why are you giving yourself all these energy drinks? You're fine. It's all up in your head. I think that's it. Um, just make sure you take your time. Usually you don't run out. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, so depends on the exam. So make sure you know how many questions are on the exam and like go through it so you can kind of plan out your time because you don't want to screw yourself over. And then like put all your effort into the first half. So that's all I have for this uh, video. Um, subscribe to my channel or go to www.missbianca.tumblr.com. And that's my blog, for those of you who are wondering. Um, leave me a message down below if you have any questions. If you're in university, I am second year in honors kinesiology at Waterloo. Um, and I'm not in co-op, for those of you wondering, because I've got a lot of questions if I'm in co-op. Nope, not in co-op. Um, if you would like to know why, ask me. Leave a message down below. Bye, guys.